if I'm being completely honest with y'all, my next video was gonna be like Hawk versus Tori every season, or why Miyagi Do, or what's better, Miyagi Do or Cobra Kai fighting style, or something like that. That was definitely gonna be my next video. But somebody was like, huh, who wins every season between Miguel, Robbie, and Hawk? And I've actually seen this covered before. So I thought, why not just make this be the next video? I mean, I was kind of in a versus, straight versus battle every season era anyway. So I might as well just keep doing that. Um, but yeah, y'all see the title, bro. It's going to be Robbie versus Hawk versus Miguel every season. And we're going to be figuring out who was the best fighter in every season out of these three. Out of these three fighters anyways. Um, I might do more of these, but you can kind of just look at my old videos to kind of get a general retrospect of kind of how I feel about this stuff. And I'm kind of only making this because somebody asked for it. So uh, if you guys do this video, please be sure to share and like. It helps the algorithm. And subscribe if you want. But, uh, you know, you don't have to. And uh, let's keep going right now. Also, thanks for all the support on the previous videos. Okay. Got to get that out of the way. Let's let's get into this right now. So for season one, it should be pretty self-explanatory. Who is the best fighters? I've kind of been over this before. But at number three, we have Hawk, who started, like, doing karate not even a little bit before like i think it was time for the first all valley we would have mcgill at second because well he couldn't beat robbie in the tournament he couldn't beat him if he was fully healthy and that's just proven by the way robbie was literally doing him in at certain moments and not only scored two points through a kick that he couldn't even really recover from and yeah, he wasn't at full power for like 50% of the battle. So Robbie fully healthy would definitely be Miguel season one. So season one, self-explanatory, Robbie at one, Miguel at two, Hawk at three, okay? I feel like that's kinda, you know, self-explanatory, Just but some people are still gonna have problems with that. Cause they're gonna be like, oh, Miguel won, but you know, I don't have to get into this. Season two should go kinda without saying as well, but I think the scaling is just kinda straightforward. Hawk is below Miguel at Coyote Creek, so clearly he shouldn't be above him or Robbie. And it takes Miguel a whole season, I mean, it takes Miguel literally a whole episode to even beat Robbie. So I would say they're both relative. And although I've recently just remembered that this is a thing where you could say, oh, Robbie was like, you know, off balance because he, you know, Miguel had kissed his girl and he had just figured that out. And, you know, he, uh, okay, like, I'm not. I'm not going to say that's not 100% true. Like, you want to say Robbie was, like, thrown off balance by that? It would definitely throw me off balance, to say the very least. But Robbie started cooking Miguel somewhat, kind of, after, you know, he was like, oh, she loves me, whatever. I don't know. This Robbie still had performed the best feats um, that Robbie has ever performed, kind of, though. Even though you can make a case he was off balance. But that kind of, even though that amps Miyagi Do fighters, it's kind of only in the context of tournaments, though. And I don't mean they only gain amps for being balanced in tournaments. I'm saying they verbatim aren't going to be balanced all the time, anyways. Um, because, you know, it takes an elite level person like Mr. Miyagi to always be balanced. You can just kind of look around the spectrum of Miyagi Do users and see that it's not the hardest thing in the world to throw them off balance. So, yeah, I definitely will admit that, yes, Robbie wasn't maybe 100% there, but he was still enough there to, I don't know, do more so than, <laughs> you know, he had done previously against Miguel. I don't know. If you want to say he was off balance, then I guess I'll let it slide. But nonetheless, Miguel was the better fighter in my personal opinion, because dude did like, he flipped him over, could have broke his arm, let him go. And yes, I know Robbie threw him over the ledge, but that's not enough. He, he literally had the chance to win the fight. So yeah, I'm giving it to Miguel. Miguel's better in season two. So my list for that is Miguel, then Robbie, then Hawk. Uh, literally only two placements change. Okay, on to season three where this gets controversial. In fact, this is like the most interesting part of the video for probably most people because the rest of the seasons are surprisingly self-explanatory in my opinion. In season three, it should go without saying, well, season four too, but we'll get to that in a second. In season three, I think it's very clear that most people, for some reason, this community, I, I, don't, I still don't get it, think Hulk is the best fighter. And I found out more and more about where people's heads are in this, so I'm actually going to discuss a little bit more. Because, you know, you know. Um, ultimately, it's not because now, now apparently, this is what somebody said. This isn't because Hulk 
doesn't have feats. Like everybody apparently agrees that Hulk has no feats. Apparently, I think this is his prime. Apparently, <laughs> I guess I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think this one guy speaks for everybody. But apparently, this guy explained to me that no, we know Hulk doesn't have no feats, but because Hulk was able to beat this person, I don't even remember what the person was at this point. Actually, I don't even remember. But they were like because Hulk was able to beat somebody in season three or was implied to be over somebody in season three he's he's his scaling would make him the best fighter i also saw something that actually has a little bit more validation although it's still wrong it's like oh well when hulk switched sides the whole fight changed so that that's why hawk was the best fighter um no 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 that's just wrong hawk switching sides switched the whole fight because no one expected Hulk to switch sides in the first place. Nobody saw that coming. Literally, no one saw that coming. Plus, when you look at the other side, when you add Hulk to it, you have, let me let me think about this. You have the best fighter over there, the second best fighter over there, the, the oh, oh wait, my bad, in the season, in the season, you have the first best fighter, the second best fighter isn't there, and Robbie, he's not even there. Then you have the third best fighter in Miguel, then you have the fourth best fighter is Tori. So she's on the other side. And then you got the fifth best fighter in Hawk. You have the top three best fighters on your side. And you have Dimitri, who is like, what, like eight? Like, who, who is Dimitri? Like, eight, seven? And like, if you want to say Sean's over him, that's great. But Sean's not there. So they have like four of the top, like, ten best fighters in the show on their side. Of course it's going to flip the scales. Like, what are we talking about? Like, they have a bunch of randoms and no-names at that point. So, I don't think that being a valid reason makes any sense. Another problem I have, in general, is that we get back to the basics. Y'all try to make Burks, like, like, you're like, oh, well, Burks, like, you know, he beat Burks like crazy. Right, let me explain this one more time. Burks has no feats, has no scaling. He's not better than Hawk. He never was better than Hawk after karate. And I don't know where you people get these wonder, wonderful ideas that, oh, all of a sudden, oh, uh, you know, Burks is just a god now. No, he's not. He's a random. He got beat by somebody who knows karate, more skilled, more trained, been doing it longer. It just makes sense. I don't understand, bro. Burks was never over Hulk in any case after he started learning karate. It's just that simple. It's really just that simple. I don't really know where you guys get this from. So ultimately, that's my whole season three Hawk rant in this video, bro. No, Hawk is, no, he's fodder. He's, he's fodder. Um, most people, there's some people that don't even think Hawk, Hawk is top five. I'm doing y'all a favor by putting him at five. And no, Sam is, and I'm not getting into all of this, bro. I'm not getting into all of this, bro. This is season three discuss. So I'm not doing all this. When I make my top five fighters in every, in every season video, eventually I'm going to do that. Oh, look, yeah, I kind of, I know I didn't. I actually haven't done that yet. Okay, when I do that. That's when we get into discourse for real, for real, about all this stuff. But for right now, I'm gonna just leave it at that. In any case, we got the rest of season three discourse discussion. Okay, I don't agree with uh, Miguel being the best fighter in this season because the writer said he was. I don't agree with that. And, and I know people just be like, oh, well, I don't agree with it either, but it's a statement. First of all, no, no. Like I've already stated before, that statement came out mid-season. So why would that even apply to the full thing? Like he was saying that, and then it's like he's talking about being the best karate kid. Like he's not even implying this for scaling reasons. So why does that matter? Anyways, Miguel, after he gains his whatever, like his, his amp back to normal, where basically his back is in complete health and he's pretty much back to prime self. And he would practically just be season two self with just slightly more skill because he knows the drum technique. So basically this is just season two Miguel with like slightly more, like with just more style basically. He has the drum technique. That's all really Miguel has at this point. It's just drum technique plus his season two self being completely back um, because he practically cannot even do training to its full like capability. So I want you to keep all that in mind. So ultimately Robbie is just over him. He beat Sean, even though Robbie would also just be his season two self because him nor Miguel trained in this season so ultimately, they would both just be their season two selves. So, I mean, technically, if you want to take that into account, plus Miguel now having the drum technique, except, yeah, I don't I don't think that matters because, um, you know, Robbie still beat Sean. And I do understand Sean was not trained, but yeah, no, no, bro, no. He just verbatim would just still win. Just off those feats alone, he beat Sean, bro, who's a big, burly dude, bro. Um. And yes, I do understand that once again, Miguel technically returns to top form by end of season. Bro is still nerfed because he he's not 
100% right. He's not 100. He's just back to being himself, but not 100. He doesn't even say that statement I use until season four, so keep that all in mind. Anyways, I can officially say this is my list. Robbie one, <laughs> Miguel second, and I got at three. I got at three off, okay? So that's my season three, bro. Y'all got the controversy out of the way. Now let's get to season four, more, more. And then the rest of this is just smooth selling. This video really only should have like four minutes left, but I don't know how long season four about to take, so. You know, y'all can see. I don't even know why I say that in the video, bro. Y'all, that's just take out the video when I say that nonsense. Anyways, when I say this is kind of really, really, really tough, this is really, really tough. Now, I had some people in the comments of the previous video try to explain to me why Robbie was mentally nerfed or something. And I've already literally explained multiple times that yes, I agree with this, but it doesn't ultimately change my personal opinion on Hawk being the best fighter in this season. Because at the end of the day, whether Robbie was mentally nerfed or not, he we, we both know that ultimately Hawk was the better fighter because Robbie literally said he won fair and square against him in season five. And I'd, I've debated this recently if Robbie meant he beat me while nerfed fair 100% or if he could have performed better. But I don't feel like Robbie would say that unless he meant he was actually giving his all in those last few seconds. Even though if you just watch that season alone and you watch the ending, it does kind of seem like Robbie is mentally nerfed, honestly, but I don't know. I don't know, bro. He himself says he wasn't. I think, I'm not sure. Like, I, I, like I've already explained this before. Uh, this this argument that, um, by the way, Hawk was using like Miyagi Do throughout the whole tournament. Um, he may have been using it throughout the whole tournament. I don't know. You can actually make an argument either way if he was or wasn't. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it kind of looks like He's using it against Kyler, which would imply he uses it against everybody else, but it's kind of hard to know if that makes sense. But I'm not too sure because 100% he used it against Robbie in the first point because he was told by Daniel to do so. That that was a 100% fact. But what I don't know if it's a 100% fact on is if bro was using it throughout the whole tournament, which if he was, then yeah, I, I don't know what to say, bro. I'm sorry. But you can literally see an image in the fight between him and um, him and Miguel where they look like they throw the same kick, but they both might have just done this from, I don't know, basic Cobra Kai lessons. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe this was like a, it doesn't like a Miyagi-Do kick to me. That's what I'm saying. And I definitely 100% don't think he was just using one style against Miguel. So I don't know. I think he was giving him his all, which if that's the case, then you could say a mentally nerfed Miguel was related to a Hawk. But like EG over Robbie, I'm not gonna lie. Basically going based off all this scaling, Hawk would still end up at number one. Robbie would still end up. But th but if I went by all oh, this scaling, basically what all this means is if Miguel wasn't mentally nerfed, he would be two, Robbie would be three, and Hawk would be one. That's how this scaling would turn out if I used it the way I'm implying. But in my personal opinion, I think it's Hawk one, Hawk one, Robbie two, and Miguel three. But if you take all that scaling I just used, then technically it could be it could be the other way around. But Hawk is still number one either way, because he beats Robbie fair and square. And Miguel has no feats of being over Robbie this season because he does lose at the prom fight. So yeah, keep all that in mind. Um the, going next, um uh, that's season five. Season five is self-explanatory. It's self-explanatory. Hawk gets okay, people are gonna get mad at me. People are gonna get mad at me. Um, let me explain this. So in my previous video, I said Hawk got no diff by Kenny, but that's not what I meant. I meant the silver bullet no diff Hawk. Whereas when we see it used on Robbie, the silver bullet does not no diff Robbie. It mid to high diffs him. The silver bullet does not affect Robbie in the same way it affects Hawk. Hawk cannot move. He cannot continue to fight. He completely loses his breath. And when it hits Robbie on the other hand, bro is still able to fight. He's still able to fight, bro. And I don't care about this whole argument that bro was fighting for his life or something. No, he wasn't. Bro literally, quite literally has multiple other people around him that can defend him. Which would happen, like Miguel, bro is not fighting for his life. He's fighting because he can still fight after getting hit with the Super Bully. I don't understand what this whole argument is. It's just, it's just fallacious, bro. That's a fallacious argument. Any case, next thing we gotta talk about is ultimately who's better between Robbie and Miguel. Because in my personal opinion, it, Hawk is last year. And um, another thing, there's really a statement in this season that would depict this. Also, I gotta debunk something else. No, Johnny didn't say Hawk was on Robbie and Miguel's level. He never said that. 
What he actually said was, uh, boys, you're all great fighters, but, you know, I'm going to have to choose out of the two of you. And then Miguel cut him off and was like, no, we think me and Robbie agree that, that both Hawks should go because he's the current All-Valley champion. And, 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 uh, yeah. and that's ultimately what happened in that scene. Johnny never said Hawk was on his level. He just agreed with Miguel and Robbie's decision that he won the previous All-Valley, thus making him the best fighter to go up against Cobra Kai. That is not him saying, oh, he's just as good as Robbie and Miguel. In fact, he says another statement this season that completely contradicts that when he tells Miguel and Robbie that now that you guys are on the same team, we actually have a chance at winning this, implying he does not think because Hawk is there, they have a chance at winning. It's because both of them are on the same team now, okay? So no, Johnny never said that. And ultimately, that would imply that these two are the top of the verse. So basically, only thing left would be if they had a fight to the... Oh, wait, they did have a fight. And guess who won? Miguel. Now, now, yes, I am a believer that Miguel got to resolve them. And that's why he beat Robbie, because Loki, he was kind of losing at first. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But Miguel, I don't know, he kind of no diff Cobra Kai or something. Ultimately, I'm going to just say Miguel wins Extreme Death just because he won the fight. And I, you know, but if you want to take the Resolve Bill, Robbie, baby. No, nah, just kidding. No, nah, it's goes to Miguel, bro. Resolve it for now. He still won, though. He still won pretty handily. If anything, the Resolve Bill made it a high diff <laughs> instead of an Extreme diff. Okay, so Miguel, best fighter. See you, Barca. Here we go, Miguel. Then Robbie, then Hawk, okay? <laughs> All right, season six, bro. Season six. Okay, part one. This is exactly the same thing, except switching two people. Robbie uh, gets his uh, he gets his mental uh, nerf uh, taken away when Tori pulls up because he was worried about her the whole time. Uh, proceeds to no diff Miguel for the first two points. Then he uh, has to high diff him for the last one. And with Hawk, bro gets uh, sadly taken out by Dimitri. Not saying Hawk is better than Dimitri, but the one kick had bro curling up into a ball. And yeah, uh, he gave up. So yeah, uh, don't care what y'all say. He, he got stopped by Dimitri. Uh, and it was a one shot. Dimitri did nothing else to Hawk but kick him that one good time. So I don't care about what y'all have to say. Next, uh, I could say for Hawk as well, uh, bro got tripped by Devin, but I don't even care about that. Uh, why is Hawk getting tripped by Devin? I don't know, but hey, he, he did happen. And uh, yeah, Hawk is still above all these people. I just want this to be clear, but He's getting tagged and stopped and I don't know by all these people, okay? So, yeah, I don't know. He's definitely not on the top force level because A, he doesn't get as many flags as them and B, he's not included in special training. So, so, sadly, Hawk, sorry, bro. Also, another thing, people don't understand that with the, uh, I'm just gonna add this quick little trivia thing in here and then I'm done because this isn't even what the video is about. But you guys have to understand, Mike Barnes was a previous Cobra Kai. He's an offensive fighter. He even specifically tells Daniel that uh, your your karate doesn't make high powerhouse students, right? So of course, of course, he's going to like Hawk and Tori more than Sam or 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 Sam. Really, just Sam because she's the only one that's really pure Miyagi though at this point. I mean, I guess you could say Robbie, but you know he's going to clearly like Hawk and Tori more. This is why he was doing that it wasn't because he was like oh uh you know sam is just not like that he's just going to favor them more because he likes people who is more offensive because he is he doesn't respect miyagi though it's just that simple that's why barnes was doing that it doesn't mean that sam is below tori it's below tori i just wanted to say that real quick that had nothing to do with the video but like i said season six part one anyways it's robbie miguel and then we got my boy hog so let's cover this, bro, because this is crazy. Season one, I got my boy Robbie at one, Miguel at two, Hawk at three. Season two, I got my boy Miguel one, Robbie two, Hawk three. Season three, got my boy Robbie one, Miguel two, Hawk three. Season four, I got my boy Hawk one, got my boy Robbie two, got my boy Miguel three. Season five, no difference really. Miguel one, Robbie two, Hawk three and season six part one robbie one miguel two hawk three so as you can see throughout this entire video hawk has been three like multiple times he's been three multiple times besides four that's really the only one bro and it was his season so shout out to hawk bro if you guys enjoyed the video please sure to leave a like comment 
share, and subscribe. And thank you for all the previous support. I can never say this enough. Whenever you say this enough, thank you. And if you don't agree with anything I said, put it in the comment and tell me why I'm wrong. Even though I probably wasn't. But we'll find out. Sorry this video was so long, because Lord, I can see how long it is right now. And I'm out, bro. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah, make sure to get money, uh, eat, and uh, go to work on time. All right, I'm out.